Hello, I'm John Elder of Elder Research, and I'll be teaching the workshop The Best of Analytics, the Core Data Science and Predictive Techniques. It'll be material that could cover a semester long course and has in the past when I've taught at the University of Virginia occasionally. So it's a lot of material. So I'll be covering only the highlights, the core techniques, the key ideas, the gist of what's going on inside the major algorithms that we use to get so much incredible stuff done with data science. I'll be talking about regression, decision trees, neural networks, nearest neighbors, and a little bit about the kernel density estimation and uh, major uh, combination of techniques like ensemble methods, which is a great way to get the highest accuracy possible. And I'll be responding to comments and questions and, and so forth, which is the major advantage of getting together in the first place. There's so many ways to get information these days. But what's the advantage of gathering together in one room is you can harness the course to your own advantage. You've got a problem to solve and your questions can help guide it. We'll be talking about feature engineering, about data visualization, and spending particular emphasis on resampling techniques like cross-validation and even target shuffling. Ways to ensure the validity and robustness of your models to make sure they work on new data, which is really the only important place for them to work. I'll be also teaching another uh, workshop on the deadly dozen top data mining mistakes and the techniques that work against them and the two workshops are complementary. I urge you to take them both in fact. They don't have to be taken in in either order. Uh, no, Neither one's a prerequisite. They're a perfect complement. Um, with the workshop will come a book, the Handbook of Statistical Analysis and Data Mining Applications, which won a uh, Book of the Year award, astonishingly, in mathematics years ago. I, I say astonishingly because it doesn't have a lot of mathematics in it. It's really written from a practitioner's standpoint. There's some great data science books out there, but this book really hits it from that standpoint of folks who are using it in the real world. My co-authors and I all taught, taught at universities as a sideline, but are primarily practitioners working in the real world in different fields. And we brought that experience to bear with a lot of hints and things, lots of techniques that work on applications. And in fact, a big chunk of the book, probably 40% of it, are worked examples from guest authors and some from us uh, using tools that are out there uh, where we work the examples all the way through from start to finish, solving problems and showing them step by step, uh, as well as having advanced techniques in there. So uh, the notes that you'll get a copy of uh, in a PDF form uh, have page numbers at the bottom of them that refer to the pages in the book that have further explanations that carry on so you'll have value beyond the one day together. So uh, the techniques that we cover will be uh, very useful to you. Uh, they'll, they'll be uh, with uh, lots of stories behind them. And uh, another valuable thing that will come out that isn't in a lot of books will be the social and the personal aspects of data science, the what we so-called soft skills, because about half, astonishingly, about half of the projects that work technically, that solve the problem, that meet the out-of-sample requirements, don't get implemented. And our work is useless if it's not implemented. So what have we learned over two decades of surviving by performing uh, data science consulting work in the field about getting our work actually used and implemented? You have to be trusted by your clients or your colleagues that are going to implement the model. And so what are some hints and techniques for having the change management issues, the fear of change or the understanding or the trusting of the model and of the team implementing the model and what are some of the implementation issues and how you can see your work actually su survive. Uh, one more aspect is if you already have the data mining handbook, you could request from Rise and Media to instead get uh, a second book, uh, the Ensemble Modeling book. So Ensemble Modeling is one of the most powerful ways to build models and uh, this book goes into greater detail than we'll cover in the course on exactly how to do that in the most uh, accurate way. Giovanni Sini uh, co-authored this book with me a couple years ago and uh, this could be an alternative take home from the course if you already have a copy of the, of the Data Mining Handbook. So I hope to see you there and uh, Look forward to uh, going through this fascinating material together. Thank you.